in all of our minds. Walk me through it. When you started walking over there, um, was the heartbeat racing? Were you sweating? Were you scared? What were you? <laughs> um, sweating. I was very scared. Um, he was kind of rubbing his knees. You know, you just don't know what people's mindset is. And I just was immediately intimidated just by his demeanor when he walked over. Were you thinking, does he have something? Is he going to pull something yes, out? Yes, the whole pull? time. Does he have a gun? Does he have a gun? Does he have a gun? <laughs> and I kept he, looking for his hands to see if he had access to one. And when he finally pulled it out? Um, I just, instincts kicked in and I just kept shooting until he was down. You know, so far you're the one who has shot the most in the one incident. I mean, you got off about five rounds. Yeah. Yeah, what do you think of that compared to the city councilwoman who, who got off maybe two? Um, I think that each situation is different. And I think that, um, honestly, my notion before this was a bit different than now because I think that when you're in that situation and someone is coming at you and there was a genuine fear for me. I know we're not using real bullets in this scenario, but they were bullets enough to hurt me. Um, I did not want to get shot by any of these uh, paint bullets, so I decided that I was going to have to do whatever it took to get him down. And it, it, in this case, I feel like it took the five shots. And in the first scenario, when you walked up and he was in the car, take me through that. Um, I think for, so I, I got out of the car and he, you know, him approaching me, for some reason I felt the safety of the car where I didn't, I didn't immediately shoot him until he came back out with the pipe because that's when I felt my life was really threatened in the first moment. Yes, technically he could have pulled something on me and I might have died from that, but I felt safe in the car and that I could have just thrown it into drive and pulled away quickly if I needed to. Um, but when he came back out with the pipe, I knew he meant business and I didn't want to take any chances. And how tough were these scenarios for you? Because I know you've talked on the, your show about purchasing a gun or not purchasing a gun. Mm -hmm. and, and how, how tough was it for you to go through something like this? Um, that was really scary. I tried to hold it together as much as possible, but I didn't even want to do the second scenario because I, I, it is very intimidating. and. There's a reason why people are in law, for, law enforcement and there's people like me who would rather just be a civilian and let them take care of the bad guys because it is, yeah, um, it's, it's a very intimidating process. I've never even shot a gun before, so um, I, I, I didn't have complete confidence with my skills. So yeah, I mean, after this, certainly I realized that if I was ever in a scenario where I needed to fire a gun, I would probably want some training. Do you have a little bit, of, last question, do you have a little bit different perspective with police, what police have to go through in the last se last second decisions, or, or you think you weren't surprised by anything today? Um, I was definitely, I was surprised at how much I shot, um, but I think that's, that's, that would be my gut reaction as a lay person, never having done that before. I do have a lot of respect for police officers. Um, you know, every situation is different, and I think um, before this, coming into it, I think I kind of have a, had a view of, you know, oh, that officer probably should have just shot him in the leg, and now I realize that you can't do that because you're trying to stop the person. Um, are there some bad cops out there? Yes, probably some people that have used the badge, but there are really good ones out there that kind of get a bad rap because they're being tied in with some of those cases. So that would be my opinion on that. Are you surprised at how fast it was? Oh yeah, it was really fast. I anticipated these scenarios taking a little bit of time and you know, if you don't have a backup officer there, you know, you're kind of um, on your own until somebody could get there to back you up. And I can't even imagine like having to take my mind away from the situation to call for backup if it started getting bad and still focus on making sure I'm staying safe and keeping the public safe. So yeah, that was quick, super quick.